Hi there, Mr. Muhammad is here. In this video, we're going to talk about percentiles and quartals. So here we have two examples. One of them, we have some numbers, which is not a table. It's just ungrouped data. And here we have a stem and lift diagram. Um, we're going to find median, lower quartal, upper quartal, and interquartal range for both uh, of the examples. So I'm gonna start with this one, which is easier. So the question is talking about uh, these 15 numbers, and we are required to find median. Uh, quartals means upper quartal and lower quartal. And then interquartal range is the difference between upper and lower quartals. So the first step that we are going to do is to order these numbers. Order them. The smallest number we have is 2. After the 2, we have 3 fours. 4, 4, 4. Let's mark them. Do not miss out any number. Oh, there's another 4. That's 4 fours. And after 4, we have 5, 5, then we have 6, 6, 7, 7, uh, 8, uh, 9, 9, and 12. We have all the numbers marked, means we didn't miss out anything. Okay, just a quick check because the position of the numbers are very important to find the quartals. A quick check, we have 15 numbers and here the ordered ones are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 numbers. That's cool. Okay, the easiest one is the median. The median. The median is the middle of these numbers or let's use a formula. The formula is like this. Median is in the middle, so that's 1 over 2 times n stands for number of data we have here, which is 15. In this case, n is 15 because we have 15 numbers. Plus 1, this plus 1 is in the formula. So to find the position of the median, uh, we follow this. Now we have 1 over 2 times 15 plus 1. 15 plus 1 is 16 times 1 over 2 is 8. So the 8th number is the median. Let's count. 1, we start with the smallest. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this 6 is the 8th number. And according to this 8, this 6 is the median. Remember, the common mistake here is students, when they work out this number, they just write here the median is 8. No, this is the most common mistake. Avoid that. This formula just gives you the position. Now, to find lower quartal, lower quartal, uh, we're going to use the same formula, but for lower quartal, we multiplied this n plus 1 by 1 over 4. So to find lower quartal, we are going to multiply 1 over 4 by n plus 1, which is 1 over 4 times 15 plus 1. And 1 over 4 times 15 plus 1 is 1 over 4 times 16, which is equal to 4. Then the fourth number is the lower quartal. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is the fourth number. And according to this formula, which gives us the position, this is the lower quartal, 4. So this 4 has nothing to do with this one. This one is the position. This one is this number. And upper quartal. Upper quartal, we're going to use the same thing, but this time we multiply it by 3 over 4 instead of 1 over 4. So remember, for median, we multiply n plus 1 by 1 over 2. 
for lower quartile we multiply n plus 1 by 1 over 4 and for upper quartile we multiply it by 3 over 4 so 1 over 2 1 over 4 3 over 4 lower quartile is the first quarter of the data median is in the middle and upper quartile is the third quarter of the data then if we multiply 3 over 4 by 15 plus 1 uh, 15 plus 1 is 16 times 3 over 4 it's going to be 12 15 plus 1 16 16 divided by 4 is 4 times 3 is 12 it means the 12th number is the upper quartile so we, we start counting here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so this is the 12th number and it's going to be the upper quartile which is 8 and finally interquartile range is the difference between the upper quartile and the lower quartile interquartile range is 8 minus 4 that's going to be 4 so we found median we found lower quartile and we found upper quartile after lower and upper quartiles we got interquartile okay that's how we find the quartiles when we have numbers like this but what if we have a stem and leaf diagram what if we have a frequency table so the idea is uh, quite the same thing for here let's do the second example to find median again we multiply uh, okay this stem and lift diagram is back to back so it means we have two sets of data to compare them then I'm going to find uh, upper and lower quartile with the median to the side only because this uh, the other side has the exact same process and whatever comparisons you are required to do you can do it out of this okay to start firstly we need to count how many numbers are there because it's going to be our n in the formula of finding the position let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 there are 18 numbers so our n is 18 the first thing we want to find is the median and to get the position of the median we say 1 over 2 times our n is 18 plus 1 so 18 plus 1 is equal to 19 19 times 1 over 2 is equal to 9.5 okay now you might ask how can we deal with a decimal position so when the position when the result here turned out decimal we are going to add the two numbers before and after this and then divide by 2 so 9.5 is between 9 and 10 so we are going to add the ninth number with the tenth number then divide the result by 2 because the position of median turned out 9.5 we're going to do the same thing if it turn out if it turns out 9.4 9.6 9.9 we're going to do the same thing so whenever the position turned out decimal it doesn't matter if the decimal is closer to which one uh, we just add this two whole numbers that are on both sides of this decimal we add them divide by two now let's do it here our ninth number is one two three four five six seven eight nine the ninth number is this six and according to the stem and lift diagram this six is not a normal six it's 136 so we're to find median we're going to add them 100 36 plus 
The tenth number is this, which is 145. Add them, divide by 2. 136 plus 145. 136 plus 145 divided by 2 is equal to 140.5. This is the median. Now let's find lower quartile. Lower quartile. To find lower quartile, again, we follow the formula of the position, but the position of lower quartile, we multiply this by 1 over 4. 1 over 4 times 18 plus 1. 18 plus 1 is equal to 19 times 1 over 4 is 4.75 4.75 is not the lower quartile this 4.75 is the position of the lower quartile and since it turned out decimal we are going to add the fifth number and the fourth one because 4.75 is between fifth and fourth so let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 121. And the fifth is 121 as well. If we add them, divide by 2 again, it's going to be 121. The fourth number is here. 4.75 is between 4 and 5. That's why we're going to add the fourth number in our stem and lift diagram with the fifth number, add them, divide by 2. This is the lower quartile. For upper quartile, for upper quartile, we're going to use the position formula like this, 3 over 4 times 18 plus 1. 18 plus 1 is 19, so 3 over 4 times 19 is equal to 14.25 so 14.25 is between 14 and 15 so we add the 14th number with the 15th number and divide the result by 2 14 okay let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 here is 14 and this is 15 add them divide by 2 we have 157 plus 159 divide by 2 and it's equal to it's calculated 157 plus 159 divide by 2 is 158 Okay, we got median, we got lower quartile, and we got upper quartile. Interquartal range, sometimes we call IQR, interquartal range, is the difference between these two. So 158 minus 121. To find the difference, we always subtract the smaller one from the, from the larger number, and we get 37. This 37 is the interquartal range. Whenever we see quartals and percentiles, we might hear about a box and whisker plot, and we're going to draw a quick box and whisker plot to this data. So the box and whisker plot begins with a straight line. The smallest marked number on the straight line is the minimum number here, which is 115. 115. And the largest one is 174. It could be to scale, it could be just estimation. Okay, uh, this is the minimum, this is the maximum. Then uh, we 
try to make the box. The box begins with the lower quartile and ends at the upper quartile. So this is 115. We can say here is 121 and 158 is here. This is the box. Then we need to mark this is 121 and this is 158 and median is a straight line in the box so 140.5 is nearly here so we can say this is the median and this is 140.5 we have a straight line here and another straight line there we got it this is the box and we script plot for this data and if we have the diagram we can take out all the information we need we can find the minimum number of our data the maximum the lower quartile the upper quartile and the median here is in the box thank you so much for watching see you next time